You ready for the video? I'm ready. Let's get it. Uh, yeah. Cool. Present practice. What is vibing? This is Vish and Emma. And today we'll be responding to Sudhir's video on Are our gods actually aliens? Do you ever find yourself stressed, anxious, or nervous? Well, that used to be me all the time, and then I found meditation. And now I've got hundreds of people on the journeys. I'll be soon coming out with the meditation product, so stay tuned for that. And today, I'm here with Emma. Want to choose yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Emma. I am a single mom. I do lots of things at spiritual communities, and I'm a creator. Sweet. Yeah. And uh, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at EmmaJane327 or Facebook. Emma Pennington is my name on Facebook. Um, I think that's all I've got right now. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Well, check your stuff out, which will be in the links down below. Have you heard of Sadhguru before? Sounds familiar. Okay. What do you know about him? If you do. Is he like a, a guru? Yeah. Okay. Definitely yeah. a guru. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, I think that's uh, all I know. <laughs> okay. Well, let's watch the video and find out more. Okay. Cool. Cool. And with that, let's get into the video. Uh, I read some theories about uh, all gods are aliens. We had lots of good technology and tools with them long back. What's your thought about it? Because uh, normally when you say God, people will look up, so they must be aliens. <laughs> Obviously not residing on this planet, so they must be aliens. I know theories and theories are going around. Anything that you cannot explain that's happened on this planet, you want to invent a fantastic story that somebody else must have come and done this, I'm not saying that is not at all possible either, but I think ninety-five percent of it is just loose imagination. There is a five percent element of truth to it. I cannot deny it after be having been to Manasarovar and Kailash, it's a, it's a living confrontation. <laughs> uh, It's a living encounter, so I cannot deny it, but everything that you cannot explain thinking that somebody else from somewhere came and did this, this is a ancient problem continuing till today. If you don't know how something happened in your life, it must be him who did it. You know, somebody else is always responsible for all the things that we don't know how. I think it's ninety-five percent conjecture. Maybe there is a little bit of an element of truth in it somewhere, maybe. But instead of going off into these fanciful thoughts and philosophies and belief systems that you start seeing aliens floating around in your cities, uh, when they come and introduce themselves, okay, till they come, and introduce themselves, that they come, stand here and say, Sadhguru, this is me, I've come from Mars. Till then, we can ignore them, really. Till then, you can ignore them. Because I know you've been watching Hollywood movies and they're going to come and attack you and you have to prepare right now. You have to build an army to fight the aliens. Somebody is making money on build a building this fanciful thought in your head. Even you have to fight wars with stars. I thought you could do something better <laughs> I thought you could do at least something better outside this planet. You are not able to settle your prejudices and you know, anger and hatred we have generated against people. If you are not able to drop it, I thought at least with aliens we would, could welcome them and have a party with them. <laughs> but no, with stars also wars. 
I don't think so. If an alien comes, it's such a fantastic thing. Something absolutely new entered our life, there may be so much gossip, huh? And you could share so many things, your insights into the local juice and they may have their juice. It could be a fantastic interaction. Anyway, you're talking about they came and built this, they came and built the pyramids, they came and built the Mayan temples, they came and built the Indian Kailash temple, you know, it's going on. In India there's a temple called the Kailash temple where this was not built, it was cut into a mountain from the top. Okay? They… they took out some four million tons of rock. I, I want you to understand what I'm saying. It's like, let's say this entire thing was a rock and we carved this hall out of that rock, okay? Like this, they carved out a temple which is three floors with elaborate carvings and from the top. It's very difficult for any sculptor to work from the top down, okay? But they worked sculptures like this, hundreds of stone images and three floors of temple. It is one of the most incredible things that human beings have done on this planet. I don't want to give away the credit to the aliens <laughs> When I… <laughs> when I first visited this Kailash temple, I felt proud of being a human being. Because four generations of people, hundred and thirty-five years, maybe five generations or six generations of people, one hundred and thirty-five years, they worked to the same plan, okay? Just with hammer and chisel, four million tons of rock was removed and they built a temple. Nothing was built, everything was carved out of the mountain, not this way, from the top down. It is the most incredible piece of engineering and craftsmanship that human beings have displayed on the planet. When I went there, my chest swelled. There's so many things that human beings are doing that we should feel ashamed of. But there are many things they have done that we can be really proud of. I don't want to give away credit to the aliens. No human beings did it. Human beings have always been doing incredible things, but they never got the media. Only those who did horrible things got the media, even today, isn't it? So, it doesn't matter who did it, aliens did it, human beings did it. What the hell are we doing as a generation of people is very important. Are we going to create something in this world where future generations will look back and say, wow, these twenty-fifth… twenty-first generation people did such fantastic things, something that that will make them proud of being human, not ashamed of being human. Let's do something like that. So Emma, what did you think of the video? It's very interesting. Um, not really what I was expecting from the title. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't think he was going to be talking about like the structures and stuff like that and kind of like giving the credit away. I thought it would be more like how the aliens tie into religion and certain beliefs that we have. Okay. So that was interesting. Um, I don't know if I agree with everything he said. Mm -hmm. I definitely see his perspective and, um, but I, I don't know. I think there's a lot more out there than just humans. And mm. so, and I don't fully believe that, um, you know, like only 5% of that is true because but I do believe in the whole thing about the media and like they portray aliens in this way that's supposed to be scary and like fearful and like we're supposed to be at war with them. Right. Um, which I don't agree with that. Obviously that's just fear tactics. Yes. Um, because I think that aliens just as humans are just as diverse, right? So there's good, there's bad, there's whatever out there. And um, all of that is just energy that is, is also influencing our planet. But okay. that's just my, that's just my belief. Okay. So. Well, I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. And I'm curious, uh, what got you in? It seems like the topic of aliens is of interest to you. Yeah. So, want to tell us about what got you into that? I've always been like super interested in like the night sky mm -hmm. and just in like UFOs and stuff like that. Um, so I used to watch like, you know, like UFO videos and 
all that kind of thing. It was always something that was just like so mysterious, just like kind of like the ocean is so mysterious. Like you don't know what, mm -hmm. what's down there because it's so unexplored. Yes. Um, and so same thing with space and just like the idea of like the vastness of the universe. There's just no possible way that we're, but we're it, you know what I mean? There's so much more out there and to just think that like they don't interact with us, mm. I think is silly. Okay. Um, so I don't know, I've always just been interested in that. And so more recently I've come into these, uh, this information about just how they communicate with us um, telepathically. Okay. And um, so that's super interesting. I'm learning more about the different like species, um, mm -hmm. different planets, where they come from and what each one's mission is um, with okay. Earth and stuff like that. So it's very out there, woo-woo, if you want to call it woo-woo, a lot of people do. But I think it there's truth to it, you mm -hmm. know? But we don't oh, we don't know the, the full truth. We never will. You know, we can't, we don't have the capacity to as humans, I don't think. Okay. Um, I think there are beings out there that are much further advanced than us, um, not just not in a physical way, but consciously, right? Mm -hmm. Like they are of a higher consciousness. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's I basically. I appreciate you sharing that again. <laughs> that was really, yeah. really cool to learn from. And uh, going off that point, I mean, you mentioned the I don't know aspect. That's mm -hmm. actually a really, really important point because I myself have actually learned that from Sadhguru himself. He always talks about the power of saying, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's just the egoic human mind that likes to make up stories or make up conclusions about things that uh, they don't know. And so essentially saying, I don't know, really helps open up the, the possibilities at least towards the truth, right? Uh, whatever that truth might be. And as he says, whether you, for instance, as an example, believe in God or don't believe in God, people that believe in God don't have proof that he does exist. Mm -hmm. And people that don't believe in God don't have proof that he doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And so it's as simple as saying, I don't know. Yeah. It really does open up this possibility. So I can definitely see that being the case Absolutely. Uh, with the aliens, uh, yeah. for instance, because I personally haven't had any encounters. Have you had any? I've seen some UFOs, you but have I seen? haven't had any like, I've had, this is going to sound really weird, but okay. I've had like, I've had moments in meditation where, I, and with automatic writing, do you know what that is? No. So automatic writing strange. is, it's a way to channel energy. So like, you basically take a journal and mm -hmm. you start writing and you just start writing whatever, right? It doesn't matter what you're writing. Mm -hmm. But the point of it is to just continue to write without picking up your pen and to, to do it so fast that it comes meditative to where you're in this state of like a flow state and you uh. allow things to come through. And it's a way to communicate with our higher self, with, um, with our spirit guides, with our angels, whatever you believe in. Sure. Like it's just all energy, right? So. Yeah. So you're getting messages through just writing yes. and it's a way to channel. So okay. um, with that, I have I have found a connection to these, these aliens that are called the Pleiadians. Okay. Um, have you heard of the Pleiadians? Wait, I, that sounds so familiar. I've definitely seen a commercial, I think, about that. Really? I'm pretty sure. That's interesting. Is that, is that um, I mean, it could be a different name, but that sounds really familiar. Yeah, it's one of the names that, like, some people, like, they've heard it before. Yeah. Um, but it's basically just, like, a species of aliens that are supposedly, right, because we don't really know, but supposedly they look a lot like us, but they're taller and, like, very blonde and, like, pale skin. Um, but anyways, they have a certain energy about them, and... Personally, I believe in like star seeds and stuff like that. So meaning like what's a star seed? Star seed is is somebody who or a soul who has come into our incarnate in this earth plane mm -hmm. that is from a different star system. So like mm. my so so like for example, if I'm from Pleiades, if I'm from Pleiades and I'm Pleiadian, okay. I have a family there. That's my galactic family, so to speak, and part of that my soul um, decided to incarnate here for mm. a certain mission. So. I'm not from Earth. I live here now, but yes. I'm not from here. I'm from a d different star okay. system, so to speak. Um, gotcha. So, Pleiadians have come through to me a lot, and that's one that's one through species that I connect with through the writing a couple times, but mostly with meditation and just it's like a certain energy that you can feel. Um, they kind of access you through your heart space, mm. and. Uh, yeah, it gets it gets weird, but okay. <laughs> it's very, very interesting. I'm I'm new to this stuff too, right? Like yeah. I'm very new to all of this. Um, 
only within the last six months have I really dove into like any kind of relationships with like other energies and yeah. channeling or anything like that. So. Got you. Well, I appreciate you sharing that as well. And yeah. that is super fascinating. And uh, <laughs> before we even continue, we'd love to hear what you think about aliens in the comments down below. And uh, whether you believe in aliens or whether you don't, or you've had experiences similar to Emma, I think don't hesitate to comment down below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Yeah. And. Uh, to kind of just wrap this up, I definitely, again, really appreciate you sharing all those really cool experiences you've had and uh, even the writing thing. I might have to try that out myself and Definitely. you should try it out too and comment that down below as yeah. to what that was like. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the real key takeaway here is to just say again, I don't know and be open to these things, mm -hmm. right? Because I'll be fully transparent, even me in the past, where I was a bit more very logically oriented as well as scientific and, you know, schooling makes it that way, right? right? And so I realized that people like me would very simply and easily dismiss something as quickly as someone that's blindly believing in something, mm -hmm. right? And as I mentioned earlier, whether you dismiss something or you believe in something, if you both don't know, you're doing an injustice to the truth yeah. as to what that could be. Absolutely. So I, I think I'm very open to what you had to mention. I think it'd be really cool to explore. Cool, I'm awesome. glad, yeah. Great, well, thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you being here. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to check Emma out who will be in the description down below. And uh, with that, make a great day, take it joyfully, and stay conscious. conscious. Awesome job. Yeah. That's a wrap. <laughs> cool. You did great. Thanks.